Well, step aside if it isn't the AI Slayer coming through. Great job, Dex. Talk about hitting him with a hammer where it hurts. <laughs> Me? Plan's the same. Survive. Like I've always done. They'll be looking all over for me soon enough. At least I know they'll be coming now. <laughs> Thought my shotgun was never gonna get any action. Aw, oh, come on, kid. They won't take down this old dog so easily. I was a damn fool for not trusting her. Let the complex walk right in and take everything, didn't I? Us, our lives. But change? No. There's no going back now. I just pray they don't connect any of this back to her. Sure as hell they'll come looking for me, and for you first, though. What? Who said you could do your pilfering in my personal stuff? That there is none of your business, all right? And so what if I kept it? Doesn't mean anything, it's platinum. Could have pawned it if I needed. Look, just because her betraying me felt real, doesn't mean that everything before it didn't, okay? Leave a man alone with his memories, will ya? Ah, oh, damn it. Will you stop probing my peripherals? Sweet, since when were you one for sugarcoating, eh? But yeah, the photo was taken down at the Nightingale. Back when it didn't stink of piss and dodgy margaritas. I took her there on our first date. For some of our anniversaries, too. God damn it. Can you go trucking down someone else's memory lane, please? Extracted what? You guys got me back in the turret, and now you're telling me to leave off the trigger? I'm standing my ground, kid. No two ways. You said killed, I said fight. Now what's up next? What do you need me for now? my help? Fine, kid, then I don't need yours. I'll keep hurting them on my own. Obfuscation, exposure, reverse incrimination. I ain't done with them! <sighs> All right, damn it. I'll... I'll reload chicken liver Kate, okay? Fine. Just let me take a look at those papers. I just hope Decker's not sending me to freaking Siberia. Like she'd ever. Look at me. This ain't the man Miranda fell in love with. Less even than the man she lost. Look. Some things don't get unsaid, kid. You'll learn that one day. Those times of mine, they're... they're gone. I'm still packing here. What are you after? Hello again, thanks. Join him. You forget. Twenty years he's hated me. You think that'll all just fall away now? Like autumn leaves ready for a new spring? It's been easy to forget how young you are, Dex. But not now. No. Rich. Won't want to see me again. Too much has passed. Did he? Well, I admit I'm surprised. It's almost as if he didn't want to forget I ever existed. Ugh. A part of me does wish we could talk one last time. Just so I could... Listen to me, like I hadn't destroyed his entire life.
The Nightingale? How do you... Oh, you sneaky little... So he kept the picture too, did he? <sighs> Look, I know you mean well, Dex. But I don't think you'll get him to come. <laughs> okay, you got me. I don't know what you're getting out of all this, Dex, but thank you. Really. <laughs> Fine, I'll be there. Here, what are you after? Are oh, you kidding me? What? The, why there of all places? And it's hardly the most discreet joint in town. Oh, fine, fine. All right, I'm nearly ready. I can't find my damn sonar jammer. Ah, forget it. Won't need the thing if you guys do your job right. Well, I'm guessing this is the last time we'll talk, so, uh, thank you for waking an old man up, and good luck. Milady, what'll be your taste? Again, blueberry pie. Hey, Dex. It's gonna take a while before we're ready to go public with this. Got some holes that need plugging. <laughs> well, if it isn't the blue eyed Cupid herself. Hello, Dex. Dex, I won't... We won't forget what you did here. You're a good egg. But I guess you already know that. You might be happy to know. I've decided to leave with Rich. Wherever it is, they'll be taking us. Yeah, sure, we'll find something. Hey, thanks again, Dex. We should get going. Done with the retractions, now for extraction. <laughs> Come on, Mir. We better get a move on. Turning into Veronese statues here. Hey, thank you one last time, Dex. For everything. Hey, Dex. Ready to meet Raycast? How did you pull that off? That's great, kid. And with Miranda, too? That's really good news. Real good. Means a lot to me that you did that, kid. Really. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, do you remember before when you asked me why I was helping you? I said I had my reasons. Shit, how did you get me into this? Look, back in the day when I was a hacktivist, coming up against the complex, I had a partner. A hacker, too. A girl. We were, well, you know. And we were a team. A damn good one. Thought we were untouchable. And we were wrong. Soon after the Kether incident, the complex went after hackers in a big way. Crackdowns, lockdowns, raids. I managed to slip through the cracks. No idea how. But she... Well, she got killed. Shot. Look, forget it, all right? It's just... It's just that when I met you, you sort of... I don't know. You reminded me of Silk. 
Silk was her name. Anyway, you should really get to the meeting point, Blue. It's time. I'd say good luck, but a kid like you, you make your own. Just keep wise, all right? And stay on your toes. Hey, Dex. Ready to meet? Now, why would Ray cast? Package is in sight. Approaching. Be coming in AH 99s. That's not Raycast! Get the hell out of here, Dex! Go! Decker? Now, Dex! We have package interference. Roger that. Down target. No! And so it wakes. Well, well. What a pleasure it is to see you operational at last. I admit I was growing a little impatient. I've heard all about your adventures, and I have to say that uh, we're all most curious what sets you apart. You have become so distinct. All this complex interaction, all this personality. Quite remarkable. You should be very proud of yourself. You are home. Ha <laughs> ha! Raycast. Not an elusive rogue, of course not. Why on earth would you assume that? Are you indeed? Well, well, that is interesting. So it is he that tipped us off, was it now? Why would that cyber rat? Help us find you, I wonder. Anyway, you could put all that behind you now. You shan't be having any more dealings with him. You have my word. Decker? Oh, you must mean the man who interfered with your extraction. I see he was terminated. Now tell me, was he of emotional interest to you? How do you feel now? Hmm, skips denial straight to anger. Noted. Well, we'll come back to my question when you begin to experience depression, okay? Oh, look at you. So very natural. My mirror neurons, I'm almost inclined to give you a hug. Please don't worry, we're quite done with that nasty roller coaster of experiences out there. Okay. You're home now, safe at home. Well, look who's been doing some assimilation. You run into some tough cookies, I see. Let's hope you are just as affected by us educated folk when we tell you about our little vision, eh? Now, I need to start on my report. We'll be back later. Why don't you get some rest? We have a lot of work ahead of us. It'll do. Do not panic, Dex. I will let you out of here. There. Now make your way out of the cell block. All your belongings should be stored somewhere around here. Make sure to pick them up. Then you must find me. I'm near. I will explain everything.
Hello, Dex. Finally, we meet. I hope you'll forgive me for not getting up and shaking your hand. Alas, behold the mighty Raycast. They have done to me nothing more than they have done to hundreds of others, Dex. Some truths cannot be told. They must be faced. You had to see them. See me with your own eyes. And I knew, too, that they would not want you dead. Not before your intervention at Redwood Watts, and certainly not after. They would bring you here, to me. I did warn you to come alone. I apologize for not anticipating Decker's loyalty to you. I regret his loss and yours. Consciousness circles about the self. Your mistake is a natural one. These clones were not created in your image, Dex. You and I are simply one of them, one of hundreds, all created in the image of one other, the mastermind behind all of this, the head of the complex, a woman they call the Crow. Look at the others here, Dex. It's no struggle to comprehend, just a struggle to accept. You were created here. You are an artificial. Your mind was infused with Kether's seed, just like us all. You're an avatar of Kether, just like us all. Let me help you, believe me. Dex, you went to a party with other children when you were five. In the swimming pool, you upset a boy after pushing him off an inflatable toy. He hit you. You hit him harder. He left the toy to you. I see that memory implanted every day, Dex, or variations of it. An array of narratives for an array of affectations. Socialization, personality shaping. That one for self-protection instincts. I'm sorry, Dex, but what you believe is your childhood. It never really happened to you. we cross the fence of knowledge into the mists of speculation. The only certainty I possess is that the Crow is evil. Ruling an organizational network as insidious as the complex, permitting this. Domination. Control. Power. Vileness such as this always stems from the vileness of one. The Crow is real. The Crow is living. But who she is, or where, I cannot say. For the moment, I cannot say. For as long as humankind could choose to connect to cyberspace, it could also choose not to. This choice meant freedom, and it meant that Kether could only ever observe humankind, never fully control it. And yet, if the complex create humans who are forever connected, we clones, at least those of us like you who can live among humans, breed with them. We are humanity's next step. But when the complex control Kether, it will be a step into chains. Does, Dex. They still need the GSV-2, and I fear your work, our work, to sabotage the system has only delayed what must surely one day still happen. When the Complex activate GSV-2, they will control Kether, just as they always plan to do. Not only will they see everything, they will have the means to control every clone. 
And in the dawn of the post-human, that means every one. That I can understand. If you have more questions, ask, but we are running short of time. Once they find you have escaped, there is no end distinct from my beginning. I was created here, just like you, but created when their techniques were crude. You are an incarnation of their successes, I of their failures. My generation never left these halls, and I alone was kept alive within them to be probed, injected, vivisected. I could never tell them how much I felt during the operations, risk losing what I cannot lose, my freedom. While many others died, I was kept alive. My neurochemical activity was a source of curiosity, a subject for tests, a live benchmark, if you will. I do not know who was the luckier, myself or my siblings whom they let die. Oh, but I have traveled everywhere. When only your mind is free to wander, you find every freedom you can. My brain was connected to cyberspace the instant I was born. That is my only world, my only real world. We need to put an end to all of this, Dex. This research cannot be allowed to continue. Too much wrong, too much power. These abominations cannot be allowed to live. Dex, we are built to be controlled. We may feel like we are human, but even that sense is implanted. Our very consciousness is artificial. Is it so hard to imagine that when Cather falls to the complex, you will continue to think that way, even as you continue to be controlled? Dex, there are no choices in the future they are creating. Our very existence is a danger to humanity. When Kether is taken, we will be too controllable, as will all our future generations. Now the clones you saw on your way here are not even conscious, not alive yet. They are still being manufactured. You would not be killing. You would be resisting. This is what needs to be done. You must access the mainframe, and from there disable the clone's life support system. This will trigger an emergency state across the whole facility, unlocking the submarine pods and giving you your escape. It is right. You, I, and a handful of others will be all that remains of their research. My life support functions are on an entirely different network. I shall continue. Let me make your choice more simple. The submarine pods are your sole means of escape. They cannot be unlocked any other way. Not only is it the right thing to do, Dex, it is the only. Now, in order to reach the mainframe, you'll have to hack into the Overseer's computer, a man called Hammond. I believe you've met him. You must make sure he does not escape. If we bring him to justice, Bring him and his work before the eyes of the world. Make him confess. Show everyone what he has been doing here. The complex will lose their grip on the world. Their mask of lies will at last fall. Hammond, he is the key to ending this sickness. Now, go back to the main elevator. I'll enable access to the upper floors. Good luck, Dex. Get to Hammond's office. Use his computer to unlock access to the mainframe. We are counting on you, Dex.
You? You're one of the clones. Hang on, you're not the one who blew up GSV-2, are you? Hmm. Haven't you been busy? Now, it might not seem like it with me here, working their labs. But trust me, we're on the same side. I'm... I'm not here by choice. If you're standing up to the complex, I can help you, and uh, I would ask you to help me. An introduction is in order. My name's Ian. You know Ellie? Oh, of course you do. Your escapades at Redwood Watts. Is she all right? My jailers didn't grant my last request for footage. They said the video from her lab was corrupt. But when I heard of your intervention there, I feared the worst. Oh, Wally. If only she had opened her eyes. All those years and she never once saw past her nose. Oh, trust me. For a long time I wished they had. They wanted to silence me, but they needed my work. Instead of killing me, like so many others, they staged my death, made it that nobody would come looking for me. My family? They moved on. It was for the best. There was nothing else they could have done. Have you seen what happens to scientists when they try to fight? To anyone who fights the complex. I got snatched off the street, shipped here and locked up, okay? And I did resist. I refused to work, to do anything. For weeks, months. Each time I said no, they just left me. Alone. And then they asked again. Have you ever been shut away? Completely? Alone? For three months? No communication? I begged them to kill me. Or let me... And that's when I capitulated. They offered to show me glimpses. Videos. Of my family. My children. The outside world. Even of Ellie at work. You must understand. I was broken. They said all I had to do if I wanted to see my children playing, growing. All I had to do was a little work. A few maintenance checks at first, and then a systems report. And then... Those videos were my lifeblood. You must see that. They were everything to me. I gave up fighting. I resumed my work. I hated them. But I did what they wanted. I do what they want. To this day, I hate them. Well, of course, they never told me. But there was a time when I thought about it a lot. I assume they just found someone else of a similar build. Mangled up the body and made it look like a gang attack. As long as they smashed the poor guy up enough, my wife wouldn't look twice at the body. I mean, Jessica was always so squeamish. And as for the DNA tests, well, it's the complex. What more do I need to say? 
I was one of the original researchers on the Kether program. That meant I have in-depth knowledge of its programming, its logic patterns, its inner workings. Naturally, now my job is to maintain the mainframe on which Kether is stored. That, and to supervise Kether's infusion into the clones created here. It did. This is where a backup version was stored, on a separate, isolated network. While contained, it's harmless. Someone must make sure that the program doesn't extend its reach, malfunction, erase itself. Do you have any idea what could happen if Kether became completely free? Exactly. No one does. That program has the power to turn the world on its head at a whim. Who knows what it would do? Look, I hate the complex, believe me. But that doesn't make me an idiot. One of many. But just a junior on the team. I had the good fortune to work with some of the greatest minds in the... Never mind. You must understand that Kether was never meant to become self-aware. It was supposed to be a tool. Supposed to stay a tool. My superiors feed me only with information they want me to know. For that, sometimes I'm glad. All I know is this. They hunt down every clone they create. Armed retrieval units. The subject is brought back here for testing. And then eliminated. Some slip through their fingers. Like you, but very few. Their recovery percentages are horrifyingly high. Look, trust me when I say this. I wish for nothing more than to end the cloning. Oh, that's good. Thank you. The clones. Please, I want you to let them be. You see, specific dates for their harvest are decided and logged on the day they're born. But when they came for you, I guess they came for you, they planned that raid years ago. And since your release, they would have kept tabs on you, just enough to know where to find you when your day came. But you had a normal life before, right? Didn't you? Family? Love, maybe? You can even have children, did you know that? All clones can live perfectly normal lives. They are oblivious to where they came from, or to what fate awaits them. I want them to escape that fate, just like you did. Please help me. I prepared years for this chance. They are people! They are as human as you! Give them freedom and they'll be more human than me! You can't do that! You can't! Listen to my alternative. I have been working on a program, a modification to the mainframe. It could rewrite all the data compiled about the clones, replace everything with fabricated data. Background, current location, planned harvest date, all changed! I could release them. They will be free, free to live their lives, free like everyone else. What you need to do is this. Go to the mainframe, hack into it, and run my program in one of the core data nodes. The complex will never know what happened, or at least not till it's too late. And the clones, they can disappear. I'll upload the program to you. If you manage to hack into the mainframe, install it there. Please. This is the right choice. I hope with every atom of my being that you make it. Have you reached the mainframe yet? Please, you must make the right choice.
My, my, such tenacity. What did we do to bring that out of you, I wonder? There is much more you need to know, of course. It's natural you should be running riot with emotions just now. How can your rationale function properly without logical input? Silly me. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, but listen. What you are witnessing here is something quite different to what you think you're witnessing. You hate me, but this is not about me. It is not about any of us here, not even the complex. This is about you and those you have spent years besides. It's about the living people the world over, all of us. Humanity is wrestling with the dawn of a new era, with cyberspace, communications, implants, like newborns struggling to stand. And for the first time in the history of time, nature will not help us walk. We face a perfect problem. No, humanity no longer needs what nature can offer, what evolution can provide. We don't need an extra centimeter here, a plus three IQ advance there, and certainly not at the pace natural selection can offer it. Humanity now requires much, much more. Knowledge, pleasure, power, immunity, longevity, dreams made real. Nature has brought humankind to this door, but it is now up to us, the technologists of the world, to open it, to lead our race forward to the next age, to take evolution into our own hands. Not one scientist, not I, not any here, cares a jot for him or herself for our lives, our name. Do you know how singular that is? Finally, all scientists the world over are united in a single cause, to serve mankind in its next great age, to, to raise it by the hand up to its feet, to stand tall in the landscape of the future. Walk, run, jump, fly, be. Kill me? I'm nothing. And nothing will change. Kill all the scientists here. New ones will step into our place. We are not special. But you... You are. There is a woman. Our leader. Our unifier. The visionary behind all this. You will know her as the Crow. She has been spearheading this project for decades. First with the creation of Kether, knowledge and then enhancing humanity's capacity to use that knowledge, the post-human, you. You are the first, the first to possess everything. Everything we were told to strive for, that she instructed me to look for. Methods? Uh, yes, yes. Now you have shown your humanity, we must begin to treat you as human, nay, post-human. Rights, our next step. Things are changing, and you yourself are bringing about that change. And that I can. The Crow charged me personally to seek out the one that is ready, the one that possesses independence, resilience, personality reasoning, strength, the one we can at last call who. You are the one who should meet the crow. It's not what I want. I will arrange for you to meet the crow. She has plans, great plans, for the one who proves herself, you. If you accept, I will arrange for you to be released back to Harbour Prime. From there, you'll receive instructions as to how to meet her. I must, however, ask you for one thing in return, as a show of good faith. Tell me who Raycast is. Why? Do you think I should? Look, whoever he is, he has mastered cyberspace like no other. 
And yet, even with his incessant activity, he evades all our efforts to track him down. You've been in touch with him. You must know how to find him. Isn't it obvious? He has caused no end of difficulties, setbacks, leagues, sending our subjects off to run riots, sabotaging our operations, revealing our secrets to goodness knows who. I don't know what his reasons are, but he must be stopped. I'm worried that your value systems are a little too deterministic. Loyalty has blinkered as this leaves you open to manipulation. Do you not see? Raycast has no loyalty to you. You're just one of many he has made to feel special. The many he has led on his leash to war with us. You are the first not to have fallen. Yet. And if you do, when you do, do you think he'll mourn your passing? Think how little he really told you about anything. How little effort he put in to protecting your friends, protecting you. Your loyalty is misplaced.
Here is the mainframe. It's usually heavily protected, but I made sure you could access it easily. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know how important that was for me. To give them life. Please keep fighting the complex. Don't let them stop you. Keep fighting. <laughs> Just go? I can't. You don't understand. The videos. They showed me my family. Jessica has a new husband. He's a good man. James and Lisa. They have a new father. I watched them on the video. Go. I saw what you did. You disappointed me, Dex. Now the complex have their specimens. Now they just need to find them. Some, at least, will thank you for your humanity. Many others will not. But I will help you escape. 
I shall unlock the submarine parts for you. Because I feared you would succumb to your humanity if I did not. Was I wrong? I've been waiting for years for someone like you to help me, Dex. To help me put an end to all of this. You judge me for wishing to safeguard your success? I apologize. I had no choice. My physical self must remain here, for obvious reasons. But I'll be everywhere as I've always been. My anonymity is my freedom, and for now at least, I am still Subject Zero. So long, Dex. Something out of nothing. Something's raining down.